Right, back again. Um, this is the second part of a cover song that I'm doing just now. Um, by a guy called Bill Monroe, who was like the sort of founder of bluegrass music, apparently. And the way I heard about the song was through Steve Errol, who did a cover of it. So this is a cover of a sort of second generation cover if you like. Um, now when the video left off the last time, what I suggest you do, it's about 10 minutes long, the first part of it, zoom along to about 8 minutes because I blether a load of nonsense and it takes me a while to get going, but I was just getting into the percussive things. I've got a tambourine that I was doing and I was basically hitting my high D whistle <laughs> on the cushion to sort of get like a bass drum sound. I put in a low D whistle part I don't know if I'll do a Heidi whistle part. The next bit I'm going to put down is mandolin. I'll let you hear what I've done. So what's happened is that the video of the first one just stopped about halfway through and I just kept playing. So I've got a bit ahead of you and this is where I've got to. <laughs>
Okay, this will be probably the last version. The song that I'm doing just now is actually called Dixieland for those that are interested. Uh, then I'm going to put one more vocal on it and I might mess around a bit with the violin, I don't know yet. Again, I'm using an open tuning. Thank you. 
and the chorus of that song. I'm not going to do it on the computer because it's just going to take way too long to do. Um, if you want to hear the song played at its best, then check out the album, which is called The Mountain by Steve Earle. And the song was written by a guy called Bill Monroe, who is no longer around. Thank you all.